you think about it, to sit down and eat a simple cheeseburger, how many hands has everything gone through to get that cheeseburger in your hand? If you think about it, it's not just the person behind the counter or the person behind them who made the burger. You think about, okay, the people who grew the, the grain, who got the seed of the grain, the people who planted the grain, the people who had to water it and irrigate it, then those who had to harvest it, then those who carried or transported the harvest of the wheat into uh, the area wherever they had to take it in order to turn it into flour. Then the people who actually turned it into flour, then those who turned the flour into bread or into rolls, into buns. Then the hands it took to, after making it, to sell it. And that just got your bun. Then you go further back, the butter. Those who, who, who helped to birth the calf. Those who fed the calf. Those who grew the calf, who, who had to feed the ground to create the grass to feed the calf. Then as that calf grew up, the calf had to give milk. Those who had to milk the cow. Then took the milk and turned, churned it and turned it into butter. Then from that butter, packaged it, preserved it, and sent it along just to get that butter on that cheeseburger. Take it further again. The same, the, the same series of cows that had to create the same butter <laughs> and then which made cheese to put on your cheeseburger. Take it further again. Then the cow who had to give up its life to become the patty for that burger. And the hands it took, those who had to take the life, those who had then had to cut it, to bleed it, and those who had to cut it, to turn it in, to cut all of the different types of, of meat, those who then ground it down to make mince, to make the patties, those who, from making the patties, who sent it along to all of the McDonald's and all of the hungry jacks in the world. Lot of hands. So when you, you're looking at that cheeseburger, to complete that whole cheeseburger, which would cost you maybe $2, approximately in the whole process of all of that that has happened, it has probably gone through four to 5,000 hands just to get that cheeseburger in front of you. $2.50 for a cheeseburger. And people don't look at it, unwrap it, and eat, and think nothing of any, of the process it took to get there. It's not the cheeseburger that's just important. It's the process, all of the hands, all of the effort, all of the people it took to create all of those individual jobs to get that end result in front of you. A simple way to start bringing it into life is it's not only just give thanks to your meal, Give thanks to the hands, the many thousands of hands it has taken to give you that. Not just the end result. Praise all of the work it took to get that in front of you before you eat it. And it makes you start thinking, hang on, gee whiz. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort for that simple little cheeseburger. Yeah, but everyone just sees a cheeseburger. There you go. Hold the ketchup. <laughs> it's about as far as a lot of people think. <laughs> no sauce for that. Hold the pickles. Yeah. I think if they all simply, no matter what it is that you are eating, if you see, if you sit back and take it 30 seconds just to think of every single thing in there that you're in, whatever it is you're eating and what process it took to get from the beginning, from the seed, from the planting, and so on, and so on, and so on, to get that to in front of you. Then we start to think about, everything starts to expand, and oh, hang on, gee whiz, a lot of hands, a lot of time, a lot of effort has gone into that. Yeah, it's a simple little way. 
Now, if we do that with everything we do, we are giving thanks to hundreds and thousands of people a day. Not just to that apple or to that burger, but to the hands that have taken to create that. Just by that one little process, we are expanding our awareness and expanding our brains a little bit further than just that meal. We're expanding that consciousness to all of those other people and all that other energy that it has taken to get that in front of you. That is a simple way. That's a good way to begin.